Halloween Hero has released, and I'm actually pretty excited. I had not even heard about this game until maybe a week ago when the developers tweeted about their adorable Halloween game. Having played for a tad over an hour now, I can confirm Halloween Hero is incredibly sweet. The premise is as simple as it is charming. Your human is distraught because they cannot go forth and collect candy through the traditional method of trick-or-treating. Ever the faithful doggo, you set out to act in her stead, armed at first with a costume hastily constructed from sheets found drying in the backyard, you gain candy through various means, such as completing quests for people, as well as simply picking it up off the ground. Dogs don't understand the five second rule after all. You can buy additional costumes and even mix and match parts of multiple costumes to create your own signature look, and I thought that was a really nice touch. Traveling through this shockingly large neighborhood and doing quests was a lot more satisfying than I expected it to. They're generally just fetch quests, but I suppose since you're a dog that is kind of fitting. I felt genuinely like a good boy as I trotted up to the weapon-obsessed nerdy kid to give him the bow I had found. And I'm a sucker for the art style too. I love the cell shaded look and the character models actually punch well above what I perceive the dev's weight class to be. I especially enjoy the player character and the costume of a werewolf kid you meet lurking in some bushes. But honestly, none of the character models look bad. Look, I'm not gonna be putting thousands and thousands of hours into this game, but that isn't the point. I wanted to make this video to first praise the efforts of this developer, Gossamer Studios, and wish them well on all their future works. They're certainly on my radar now. And finally, I wanted to sort of gush about the amazing opportunities that developers have to interact with their community via social media. Look, I know it's easy to complain about zombie teens staring blankly at their screens oblivious to the wider world, but I want to take a moment to shine a light on the brighter side of that coin. I heard about this game on Twitter. I can almost guarantee it was due to networking done under the indie dev hashtag and through networking tweets like those of the Tracy Brothers and Carlo C Games. I hope I'm saying that right. This is my soapbox. I'm on it begging developers to get out there and do the legwork to make these stories repeat themselves. I see value in big budget AAA titles. I'm very much looking forward to Elden Ring and God of War coming to PC, but I'll never forget where I started sitting at my dad's Amiga and playing games like Starflight, marveling at how the credits consisted of just five names. As my father's mental health deteriorates, I'm even more inclined to seek indie games like the one here because it reminds me that no matter how many blockbusters I play, my origin story wasn't one of home consoles and arcades. It was of the little guys telling big stories. Until next time, I've been Septimus with the Grim Alliance, and you have all been an amazing audience. I thank you. Thank you.